Hey, I'm Jeff Ferris. Welcome to Razor Video Magazine, RVM1. In the last decade, action sports have grown beyond anyone's expectations, from skateboarding to inline skating to freestyle BMX and motocross. And in 2000, Razor USA reinvented and broke all the rules with their new line of scooters. It seemed only natural that the excitement of action sports would carry over into this new breed of fun. Now, like any other sport, even riding a scooter can be dangerous. So remember, always wear your helmet and pads. Now, if you're looking to get really good on a scooter, a few names come to mind. First of which is Josh Toy. Josh has been riding a scooter for nearly three years and has got to be one of the most technical riders on the planet. So, we went over to his house and uh, hung out with him to try and figure out why he's so good. Check it out. Hey guys, my name is Josh Toy. I'm here to give you a tour of my house. This is the kitchen. I love eating pizzas. I have to show you this. Red Baron, really good pizza. We're gonna go down to the hall and check out my room. It's kind of messy right now because I just got back from Las Vegas on a little competition for GoPro racing. I have a lot of DVDs and videos. Some of my favorite movies when it comes to bike videos, probably s and Bike Video 4. I am constantly on the computer. I do website designs. I do video editing. I go online and talk to all the rest of the scooter riders and keep communication through there on new tricks. So. Next is the PlayStation 2. I am always on the PlayStation 2. Love to play GTA 3 and GTA Vice City. These are the best games. These are a few of my good trophies that I like to have up on my shelf. I have about 500 more trophies out in the garage and crates. And then there's my scooter shelf. Um, I got on the cover of the Razor Punk bike. These medals are from USA Scooter Racing. This brake right here, I bent while doing backflips on the ramp. This is my sister's room. We are not going in there. Let's go outside. Now this is my kicking back area. This is when I want to relax and watch the fish swim around and also. <laughs> I'm gonna take you to the front of my house and go grind my box, show you what I can do. This is my front yard, and this is my box. Being sponsored by Razor is pretty great because they take you to events and demos and they give you products when you need them. This is the Razor Ergo. This is the product they gave me for being on the team, and I'm gonna ride it for you guys. The cool thing about these is that it's not spring involved, it's pump. <laughs> so it never bottoms out when you're jumping on it. Our old team manager, Pete Longkaravich, was my team manager from my old scooter company sponsor, and he hooked me up with a deal with Razor. I think I'll try it. Feeble double tail foul. Thank you for coming by my house and watching me ride. I'll see you later. Josh is definitely tech, but when it comes to going big, one name comes to mind. Jared Reed. Jared is one of the original Razor Team Pro Riders, and we caught up with him and the team 
on their way to a private session at Southern California's Point X summer camp. When Razor called me up and asked me if I wanted to go on a road trip, I said, sure, it sounds like fun. They didn't tell me where I was going or what they had in store for me. I left my house at sunrise to meet up with the rest of the team at Razor. Once everyone was accounted for, we threw our scooters in the van and loaded up and hit the road. Pretty soon we were driving through a thick cloud of fog. We could barely see and figured there was no way we were going to be able to ride. Everyone was really bummed out because we all really wanted to ride that day. After about an hour in the car, the fog finally cleared up and it turned out to be an awesome sunny day. Perfect for a good session. The only problem was that we were in the middle of nowhere. Everyone on the team was wondering what the heck we could possibly ride way out there. It looked like they were taking us out to the desert to bury us alive. Derek wasn't ready to die yet, so he picked up the walkie-talkie. Where are we going? Just then, we're going to a magical place called Point X Camp. We pulled into the driveway at Point X. Right away, everyone was looking to see what we were going to ride first. We could hardly wait to get out of the van and check things out. I grabbed my scooters and hiked up to the park. A few of our guys were already sessioning. Ricky was there tearing it up. He was busting double tail whips over the forest there. Corey was there. She was busting just as good as all the rest of us. Lisa was there hanging out. She's been on the team for a while. Brandon was there busting some crazy stuff, like double tail whips out of grinds. Derek was there busting some double backflips into the foam pit. Nathan and Wyatt were there also. They were busting backflips over everything. Mark and Jason were both there trying to learn front flips. Jason's been riding with us forever. He's one of the original team riders for Team Razors. Josh Toy was there busting all the technical tricks. Tail whip to late bar spins, 360 turn downs, all sorts of crazy stuff. Ricky's friend Chris Stegel was there busting some pretty cool tricks too. And last but not least, Jared Reed. Mm. As soon as we got to the top of the ramp and started getting warmed up, we were all ready for a long day of some sick riding. And it all starts now.
After we finished riding the first part to death, we all wanted to see what else this place had for us. So we climbed up the hill to the next spot. A few of us had already heard ahead of time that Point X had something that few of us had ever had the opportunity to use before. And there it was, the Point X phone pit. Now that we had the taste of big air, we were all ready to do some real riding. We headed over to the BMX park where all the big ramps and wall rides were hidden.
was our day at Point X. Point X looks pretty sick. I don't know if they'll let you in the foam pits with a scream machine like Jared, but uh, I'm definitely checking it out this summer. If you want more info, go to the website at pointx.com. Screen machine from Razor. Get yours. Now, if you want to learn some new tricks on your scooter, I recommend you hook up with a professional. Up next, Brendan Smith shows us some basic tricks that can be done on a scooter. Hey, I'm Brendan Smith, and I'm going to show you how to do a couple tricks on the Razor scooter. Now safety is the most important thing, so always wear your helmet and don't try any of this unless you're an experienced rider. All right, let's go. All right, the first trick is a wheelie. Now to do a wheelie, you want to make sure your back foot is close to the brake and then when you're ready to do it, lift up with your arms so that your nose is in the air and you can use your other foot as a balance. It'll take a little bit of practice, but once you get it down, you'll be doing it just like this. I still need a little practice. All right, the next trick is called a tail whip. A tail whip is where you jump in the air and spin the deck of the scooter 360 degrees and land back on it. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. Now the way you actually do a tail whip is when you jump in the air, give the deck a little bit of a kick with your back foot and use your arms to spin the deck around 360. When it comes around, grab it with your feet, land on the deck, and ride away. All right, the last trick for today is the grind. Now that's one of the hardest tricks, so make sure you have all your safety gear on. Now grinding, so when I jump up on a curb and slide on the bottom side of the deck. Now when I do this, I want to make sure the whole front end of the deck is up on the curb with my front wheel rolling parallel to the edge of the curb. Now when I've slid far enough, I just hop off and ride away. All right guys, let's recap. Today we learned a wheelie, we learned a tail whip, and we learned a grind. Now remember how important safety is, but keep on practicing and I'll see you out there. And he wasn't kidding. Safety is definitely important, because if you get hurt, then you can't ride. And that's definitely no fun. Hey guys, I'm here at my local skate shop, Skater, in Studio City, California. We're going to check out some of the new products from Razor. Now, not only does Razor make scooters, but check out this new line of backpacks they have. This thing can hold your skateboard and all your gear. And for all you travelers out there, one pull of the handle and you're ready to roll. Check it out, you guys. We've got the punk ramp and the punk rail. They're just small enough and light enough to go anywhere. A single piece of high impact molded plastic with included screws, which you gotta use to secure it. The rail's been powder coated to make it last and grind smooth and fast. Plus, it comes apart in two pieces so you can store it in small places. Together, the ramp and the rail line up perfectly to make it great for combo tricks and grinds. 
They're both super durable, designed by riders for riders. So if you're looking for something fun and small, grab your pads and your helmet and check out the punk ramp and the punk rail. I'm gonna head on back to the beach, but in the meantime, check out this awesome clip from the video Evolution. Right now, I'm gonna show you the history of skateboards. Here it goes. And up there, the original skateboards. Scooters. They look awful lot like something. One of the hottest up and coming punk bands this year is Sluggo. They debuted on the DVD for this summer's action blockbuster hit, Triple X. Sluggo, action sports, check it out. Long days, good times, sad times, bad we are the best time of our lives. Three months, hard work, patience, nothing better. Go home, then we have to go back up for more. 
There's no doubt there's a lot of talent out there. Up next, we're going to show you some of the country's best amateur riders. Now, i got to warn you, these guys have spent hours perfecting their skills. And I don't recommend you do any of this at home unless you have the skills to do it safely. Razor definitely has some cool new products out there, but whenever I want to know what the newest and hottest things coming down the pipe are, I go see my good friend Bob Hadley over at the Research and Design Center. Professor Bob always has something interesting going on. Hey, what's up, Bob? Ferris, good to see you. Give me a second, I'll be right with you. Ferris, Jeff, Jeff, don't, don't fool with my stuff. I got some new stuff to show you over here. Thanks. Ferris. Ferris. Ah, scream machine. Ah, not just any scream machine. This one's got an electric motor, 12-volt system, adjustable seat, welded steel frame, throttle control, V-brakes, speed controller, freewheel with three-piece cranks, and a 200-watt electric motor. Everything but a flux capacitor. <laughs> All right, well, I'm ready to take this thing for a test drive. So, Ferris, bring that thing back in one piece. Wow, that scream machine was a blast. I'm definitely gonna have to get one of those when they come out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And remember, if you wanna check out any of the products that we reviewed, log on to razor.com. And remember, always wear your helmet and your pads to do this stuff safely. Until then, I'm Jeff Ferris. I'll see you at RVM2.
Hey, what's the name of this area? Rim of the World. The next trick is a tail whip. A tail whip is where you jump in the air and spin the deck of the scooter 360 degrees around in a circle and land on it. 